Happy Easter. I'm so glad I get to be with you today and I brought my Easter basket with me. But my Easter basket looks much differently than it usually does because usually it's full of eggs and candy and some small treats and toys, but not this year. This year, my basket only has four eggs, but they're important eggs because they're gonna help us remember what Easter really means. Inside my first egg, I have a cross. And the cross reminds us of how Jesus carried his cross to Calvary to die for our sins. No one told him he had to do it. He chose to do it because he knew that was how you and I were going to get to spend eternity in heaven with God. In my second A, I have three nails. And the nails remind us of how Jesus' body was nailed to the cross. Now the nails they used to nail Jesus' body were much larger than this. Can you imagine how much that must have hurt Jesus to have his hands and feet nailed to the cross? But he suffered that pain to pay the price for our sins. In our third egg, we have a stone. And the stone reminds us of how after Jesus' body had been taken off the cross, he was put into a tomb and a big rock was rolled in front of it. And on the third day, two women came to the tomb and saw that that rock had been rolled away. And this stone reminds us that even the tomb can't keep Jesus in the grave. And that brings us to our fourth egg. And in our fourth egg, it's empty. And that's because the Bible tells us that when the two women got to the tomb and saw that the stone had been rolled away, they went inside and saw that it was empty. And at first they thought somebody had stolen Jesus's body, but there was an angel there and said, no, come look. He is not here. He is risen just as he said he would. And this egg reminds us that the tomb is empty because Jesus has risen just as he said he would. You know, the Jesus we serve and the Jesus that we celebrate today willingly took up his cross, took nails into his body, and yet he couldn't be held there. And even a giant rock in front of his tomb couldn't keep his body in the grave. The Bible tells us that whoever believes in him is going to have eternal life because of all of these things that Jesus did for us. In fact, it says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. He said, did that for me, and he did that for each of you. And that's why we celebrate Easter. Will you pray with me? We thank you, Jesus, that you loved us so much that you gave up your life to die for our sins. We are thankful that your story does not end with your death, but that we serve a risen Savior. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining and have a great day.